miscellaneous michelle right back at you with another video i am bringing to you today um a video on my potting of my 35 inch welfin yeah so i am actually um uh yeah undecided on what pot i want to put it in but i think i'm actually going to put it into the green pot that i just unboxed so um yeah and I'm also not liking this welfare. For some reason, I just don't like the fact that it doesn't stand straight up. You see how it has that curve? Let me back up. I just don't like that. So I started to sell it. I paid $90 for it. So, I mean, if you guys are interested, if somebody tells me um, a good price, then I will sell it. Because, I mean, I don't love it. I figure if you don't love it, sell it. Get rid of it. But, yeah. So, yeah. I'm actually going to pot it up until then, and um, I'm going to let you guys join me. So one second, I'm actually going to get my cinnamon because I'm going to submerge the rhizome and some cinnamon, and then I'm going to put it in my potting mix and all that good jazz. I'm going to add some bone meal, some blood meal, and I'm going to feed it with some fish fertilizer, okay? All right, so that's pretty much my method, and that's how I make it work around here. And um, give me one second so I can... Go and get my pot and mix and my perlite and all that good jazz. One sec. Alright, I gotta set the other bag of pot and mix over here. Alright, y'all. So let me see if I can get y'all a better angle because y'all can't see a thing. Okay. Just go 
ahead and pour. Pour it into the feel good, all right? All right. Like I said, it will not hurt your plant. You can go ahead and submerge it. Look at that, it looks like snow. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, should I blend it out? No, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the nutrients that I'm gonna put into the soil. One sec, y'all, let me get the pantry. Oh, good, it's my allergies. Okay, so I have uh, Nature's Care Organic. Uh, it's by Miracle Grow. These are my daggone nutrients that I put in here. I wish I had some uh, used coffee grounds because I would add that in there too. All right. Um, I actually need some worm, some worm casting. So I need to go ahead and order some from um, eBay. Yeah, but uh, so I'm going to put the bone meal first. And what you do is you just use a, I think it's either a tablespoon or a teaspoon. But you know what? I don't feel like digging for that. So what I'll do is I'll use the cap. Okay, everything has a purpose around here. So the cap that actually came off the bag, I'll just go ahead and fill it. Cause that has to be about a, a tablespoon. So I just go ahead and fill it with the daggone bone meal. Let me pour it over the uh, flower pot here so nothing goes on the floor. Oh, oh shit, some spill. Okay, so this is the bone meal. This is what this looks like. And it smells like dog food, y'all. So it don't smell bad. So I'm gonna pour that in. Okay, put the lid back on, slap it back in the closet. All right, one sec. <clears throat> All right, so next I'm gonna use my blood meal, y'all. And like I said, everything has a purpose, so I'm gonna use the cap again. And with that, I ain't gotta wash no dishes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in also. Fill it up, like so. Every time I say like so, I feel so important, y'all. I feel so professional, like so. That's what I hear all the fancy YouTubers say, like so. Oh shit, I done spilled some in my damn uh, rubber plant. Damn, I need to water that bad boy down. But yeah, so this is what that look like. All right, oh shit, I'm spilling it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in too. I gotta remember to water my dang on rubber plant because I don't want that just sitting in my dang on uh, soil there, not watered in because I don't know if it don't affect it. But I ain't trying to lose my baby. You see how tall this bad boy is, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to blend my mixture in. Now let me see if I can show y'all. I'm gonna bring it to you. Just to show y'all where I'm at with it. See that y'all? Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna take my hand and I'm gonna blend it all in. No method to this madness, just make it work. Make it work for you. If you don't have all these that going organic uh, nutrients and all that old shit, uh, just use what you have, okay? If you got soil, just use soil. Add everything else in when you uh, can. You know, it's not necessary. To stress yourself out if you ain't got everything at the moment. It's no biggie. When you get it, just apply it. Okay, I just happen to have this stuff on me, so I'm gonna slap it in here and make it do what it do. All right, I gotta hurry up, y'all, because I am hungry, and so before I get a headache, I better hurry up and get done this video. So. Yeah, let me hurry, y'all. I'm always messing around doing everything, but eat. I don't be eating on time, y'all. I wonder why my head start hurting. <clears throat> All right, so. I actually uh, came across some wood chips, so I'm actually gonna break them apart. Oh shit, I just spilled some soil on the, on the damn countertop there. I done got too excited. Okay, so I done blend up. I done blend that bad boy all in real good. I done blend that in. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a make a way for the welfare. Or should I add some more soil now? Um no, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make a dag on way for the well fit and I'll add some more of soil as I go. You can always apply more along the way, but I don't want to fill this pot up with soil completely and then I can't even get the dag on well 
it in, in and move the soil around with it and falling all over the place. I don't want it falling all over the place. Let me go and get my cinnamon, y'all, because I got to apply that on the rhizome. But in order for it to stick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it paste to the daggone rhizome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this under some hot water. You don't have to use hot water, but I actually feed my plants with hot water also. I trick them motherfuckers back to the big day in uh, Florida or Miami from damn where. But yeah, um, yeah, Miami is Florida. What the fuck? But anyhow, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and submerge this bad boy in some hot water and uh, make it do what it do. One sec, and then I'm going to show y'all how I apply the cinnamon. I hope I got some more left, y'all. Okay, shake that bitch because I don't want the water going all over my floor. All right, so uh, I just submerged the rhizome with the hot water. And what I am going to do is use my cinnamon. I only have a little bit of cinnamon left, y'all, just a little teeny nap. I actually got this from the dollar, so I need to go and um, buy me a few bottles of uh, cinnamon because I put cinnamon on every single plant that I actually uh, plant. Um, yeah, every plant that I actually uh, pot up, god damn, yeah, I sprinkle cinnamon, okay? And uh, while doing so, I actually sprinkle it until it feels good to me, okay? So there's no amount... You know, that, okay, you can't say, oh, just sprinkle a, a damn a tablespoon or a teaspoon. No, sprinkle it until it feels good, okay? Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do. And you don't have to wait for these well fins to, um, to dry and uh, all that stuff and seal off and all that old shit. I forgot what they say, the fancy name they like to say. You don't have to do none of that, okay? You don't have to wait for it to crust over. No. You can pot it right away, okay? I always get so many questions like, do you let your, your well fins uh, crust over? No, I don't. I pot them right away, okay? All right, so that's all the cinnamon I have. That's all I have. I use the whole goddamn thing. I only had a sprinkle in there. But this is how it looks, y'all. That's how much cinnamon I got on my bad boy. All right, so now I'm going to... Stick it in here, and um, the cinnamon just helps with the daggone uh, root growth, and it also helps keep the fungus down. You don't want fungus in, fungus in your plants because then you got to change the soil, you'll get all those stupid products, and all that. Anybody got time for that shit? Okay. So yes. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, let me show y'all where I'm at with it. Oh shit, I almost dropped the damn saucer. Y'all know what? Man, you know what? I ain't gonna mess with y'all today. I ain't gonna play with y'all. I finna broke my damn saucer. So let me keep this on the countertop until I'm done. So um I found a position for it. I think this angle works well for me. I don't like the fact that this bitch does not stand straight up at all. I wish I would have realized that in the picture because I would have left this bitch where it stood. But, since I have it, I'm going to make it work for me until I can find a better, really tall one. The thing is, I'm looking for the perfect one. And I, you know, it's really no perfect one. I mean, this is a daggone plant, you know, so I shouldn't be so damn tough on them. But, uh, I like what I like, and that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna press it down just to make sure it's in position. Nice and firm. All right, so I can let it loose now. All right, so now let me stand back and look at it, y'all. All right, let me spin it around for y'all, just so y'all can see too. Y'all see that? I don't like how it doesn't stand straight up. Like, God damn. Look at that, y'all. I don't like that. Damn. But, you know what? Maybe I should put it into the side like that. Tilt it. Yeah, I'm going to tilt it, y'all, so it kind of look like it's standing straight up. So I need to add some more soil because this bitch is getting ready to fall flat. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna add some more soil and I'm also gonna apply some more perlite. Um, yeah. Because like I said, you can never use enough.
wrench it down like I told y'all. I'm gonna spin it around real quick just to show y'all what it's looking like. So y'all can tell me what y'all feel in the comments. But until then, I am Miscellaneous Michelle. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you guys put the notification button, uh, notification bell on. Hopefully you guys subscribe so you can stick around and be a part of the family. Okay? As you see, I am all over the place, y'all, but that's okay. I am being myself. Alright. Okay, this looks like a pretty good blend, y'all. I gotta hurry up because I ain't um I ain't talked to my baby all day. Except for this morning. The good old good morning text. That should make my day, y'all. But um, yeah. So here we go. This is what we have here. Let me spend it for y'all. Y'all see it? Oh, and another thing I'm going to do when I get done watering it, I'm actually going to use this leaf shine just to make it look nice and uh, jazzy. Yeah, I think I got this bad boy from Amazon. I think I paid like $18.99, but this bad boy lasts a long time. And I spray it on all of my plants, even the plants that I sell. And when I tell you this bad boy lasts for a good probably um, like six months because you don't need a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just a front, back, and you good. All right, so there you go with that. And um, yeah, did I spin it all around for y'all? Y'all see that? So this is the front end. And let me spin it. That's the side. But y'all know it looks so stupid like this, y'all. Tilted. But then when I have it like that, it looks stupid. Because it doesn't stand straight up. Man, I don't like this fin. I do not like this well fin, y'all. I'm so happy it's tall, but I don't like the way it uh, positions itself. Darn. All right, y'all. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to go ahead and feed it. See y'all.